it is me, Sampo Hemi here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video, I am going to be doing a Sims 3 world overview. Today, I am going to be reviewing the Sims 3 apples and planes. So I am very excited to go ahead and show you guys because this world or safe file just recently just came out for the Sims 3. I have been watching this person on YouTube for like over over a year now I believe and they went ahead and renovated every single community lot, residential lot and everything that is in this world of Abelos and Plains and that is indeed Plumbo95. You might recognise that name because they also renovated Sunset Valley as well which I actually would like to see that as well but I have not had the chance to see that but I saw this world was available to download and I was like okay I want to go and have a look at this world and you guys this world is so perfect for autumn vibes and cozy vibes like this world is so freaking perfect so before I get into the actual review of the world I do want to say that this world it is indeed a safe file so once you download this through Plumbox 95's YouTube channel um, and the page on Tumblr as well, you will get a safe file so make sure you put that into your saves folder and you just open the saves folder and this is what you will get in this world and this world does require all the expansion packs and all the stuff packs except from Katy Perry sweet treats and there is no store content included in this world so I think they just want to use like all the packs except from Katy Perry which is good if you don't use custom content or store content. Well, the very first thing that I do want to go ahead and have a look at at the community lots of this world so this one actually really catch my eye and this one is the cat jungle park and then we also have the dog day park as well which is really, really cute i absolutely love that so we actually gotta go ahead and have a look at the community cat jungle so this part is a perfect spot for your cats and your cat lover sims to come and take the cats over and make some friends and interact with no sims that i'm really i really love cats and stuff like that so this is what it will look like in this world and as you can see this world is so beautiful already like i love the color scheme of this world um like these are basically my favorite colors when it comes to the sims for me like i just love neutral warm tone colors all together it's really pretty so as you can see this is the cat jungle um this is the car park obviously so once your sons come over here they will park the cars over here as well and then over here we do indeed have a pond over here there's like some gates over here and this also has um it also has a hitching post for your horses to like come over and drink some water just in case they are thirsty or something like that so this is indeed the pond that you will get in the jack jungle and then over here you do indeed have some public toilets for your sons to go ahead and use the toilets if your sons need to pee um pretty simple you know simple things to do you know if your sons need to toilet that's the public toilets for your sons to use um so this is like the, the women toilets this is the men's toilets over here so that's like super simple all there and then over here you do indeed have the um cat jungle gym for your cats to play in the gym and all that stuff like they can just like exercise or play with another cats and stuff like that in the cat jungle because it would be so cute i'm not gonna lie and then over here you do actually have like a couple of like small places over here which is actually a really nice thing that they did in this world because um you can see there's like different rooms over here which i will get into in a second so this one i'm assuming it's for like 
a spot where your cats can like come over here and like you know stretch if you need to like if they need to like stretch to pause and stuff like that or they're just hungry they can just come over here and grab some cat food and then your sons can come just over here and chill for a bit you know and chat and socialize with the sons about your cats or life in general basically will listen to some music um which is really, really exciting so this is like a chill sport I'm in Surin. so that's a really nice spot for your sons to do and then over here you do have some like barbecue um picnic areas for your sons to like spend a day out with the cats and have like some barbecue and all that jazz and then you do have another jungle gym over here and then over here um it's basically the same thing over here but this one's more for the actual cats to come over here and play with some toys and then also play with some of the wild dancers and then they also can go ahead and mind their own business as well because this is indeed the Electro Box of the Future, which is such a fancy name, I'm not going to lie. And I really love that they added those pictures up here, which is so adorable, I'm not going to lie. Like, I think these are like different colour patterns or something like that. Um, maybe it's just the lighting, but that is so adorable, I love that. And then you do actually have like some swings over here if your entire family comes over and has a barbecue day and your son's children want to come over and, you know, play on the playground or something like that. And then the spot over here is for your sons to, like, watch the TV and just chill out for the day and let your cats relax and all that stuff. And then this is also another jungle gym as well. And then you do have, like, some um, benches over here and then you have, like, some chess tables for your genius sons um, if they want to do some chess and all that jazz. And then over here, it's more of, like, a library chill-out spot um, for your sons to, like, chill-out read some books or maybe they want to learn how to you know look after cats or like some chats about your cats and stuff like that you know you might find some um, interesting facts and stuff like that so that is indeed the cat jungle alrighty so as you can see we are indeed the dog part of the tower and the very very first one that I see is this water foundation and I love that it's like a bone like that is so freaking adorable I love that so much like that is amazing um but yeah so this is indeed a bone because it is a dot park and I just love this so much like that it is so stinking cute so basically um obviously you have your car parks over here you have your hatching post over here for your horse horses to come over they need to get something to drink and then over here we do indeed have the public toilets for your sons to come and mind their own business and then we have a couple of chess tables over here for your sons to you know just have a wee game or something like that while your dogs run run around the park and stuff like that and then over here you do have a couple of dog houses where your dogs can like chill out for the day or they can um or they can like um relax you know or they want to like mind the business with the partner dogs or something like that you know because you never know if your your dogs want to have some puppies and stuff like that so um yeah so that's like your dog houses um for your dogs to chill out and then obviously you have the barbecue table over here um, for your sons to have some barbecue and I like that they included their garbage because um, the amount of times I've had my sons do barbecues in public places there's never trash cans for some reason I don't know why so I like that they included us so thank you so much for including that and then over here you just have like some chill out spots over here and then you also have some foods over here for your um dogs to like eat if they're hungry or something like that and then I really love this um I think it's called a uh, grace or something like that I cannot pronounce the name right but if you know what I mean, you will understand what I mean, okay? 
<laughs> so this is like a little um, deck slash porch um, for your sons to go and play some Donomos, um, which is really, really nice. And then you also have some biscuit balls over here, which your um, dots can do as well. And I like that they included the, the toy box as well, if they want to like chew on the toys and stuff like that for the teeth. Um, so that is indeed the dot part of Abelos and Points. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, I'm indeed in life mode because I want to go ahead and show you guys like some of the community lots that this town has to offer. So as you can see, this is indeed the bookstore and the day spa. So this is like where your sons can come to the bookstore or they can come to the spa if they want to, you know, chill out, get a massage and have a good relaxation day or something like that and then obviously you have like your hot tub in the back as well which is actually a really nice thing because um we do have a spot in this community lot so your sons can actually come out in the back do some hot tubs and stuff like that which is actually a really, really nice idea actually I never thought to do that and then you also have your car parks over here and then over here is basically like the main street of the town. So this is the um the restaurant and the business journalism where your sons can come and work in the business career or the journalism career um for your business sons or your writer's sons and stuff like that. And you also can come over here to this fancy restaurant. I'm actually pretty sure that you can eat outside, which is really, really nice because they have included some tables and stuff like that which is a really nice addition um because i've never had my sons eat outside when it comes to this actual restaurant so i really like that um addition to the restaurant and then you also have like a little menu outside where it shows you what's on the like specials and stuff like that which is a really nice addition and then obviously that is indeed the dot part and then this is the um, summer slash feature where your sons can come and watch the movies or watch the show and all that stuff and they also have a car park on the back as well I like that a lot of the community lots include car parks because I have noticed that a lot of community lots in the Sims Street don't really include car parks where your sons to park so I like that because it's more realistic, you know, it's really a nice addition. And over here, we do indeed have the gym where your sons can come over and, you know, work out, exercise, lose weight, become really fit and muscle and stuff like that. So um, this is indeed the gym and I can see that it's the most beautiful gym that I have seen in my life, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> um, it has like the colour scheme that I really like to see so um, as you can see we obviously have the um, bathrooms over here for your sons to use the bathroom you also can use the shower um, if you need to like clean off the sweat and stuff like that so um, this is the men's bathroom this is the women's bathroom so that's pretty nice for your sons and all that stuff and then you have like a little sitting area if you need to wait for the receptionist to come to the table and let you into the gym you know for example gym memberships or something like that guys Obviously, most gyms, you have to pay a subscription to get into the place. So that's kind of a nice addition to um, the gym. Um, you also have the office desk, which your sims will probably will randomise go into the computer because you know that's what the sims are like anyways. <laughs> and then over here, as I'm in assuming, it's like a little um, cafe station where you get your healthy snacks, your protein, um, your protein pounder shakes and stuff like that, you know. <laughs> and then when over here it is indeed like some of the lockers where your sons to put this stuff away let's just pretend that you can um so i like that addition and then you have like some trim mills i have never seen anyone use these trim mills in sun street i'm pretty sure they come with tail life stuff and i honestly think that tail life stuff has really nice objects when it comes to actual gyms and laundries and stuff like that which is a really nice um addition to the gym so that's like trim mills when your sons to come and work out if they want to lose weight or they want to like 
take a walk or run and stuff like that. And you also have some um, train ups as well where you can pull your muscles and stuff like that, you know. And I always get my sons to do these, so this is like a really nice, nice addition. So that is indeed the entire downstairs. And then obviously you have the um, swimming pool for your sons to swim. Um, you can swim laps and stuff like that. Or you can do some skinny dipping if you want to do that in public. That's on you, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and then obviously in the um outside of the gym you do have a, a trampoline because trampolines are also exercise as well. Um you can practice some jumping and stuff like that for your sims. And then upstairs it's where the actual gym is. Like there's a gym over here, but you also have one upstairs if the downstairs is like too busy or something like that, and you want to come upstairs to get nice and quiet and stuff like that. So um, so you do have some trim mills over here. You also have some um, pumping stations for your sons to like pump the iron and stuff like that. And then you also have some showers over here for your sons if you need to, you know, take a shower and wash all the sweat off and feel good after. And then over here you do indeed have the no good, um, like the no good room, but. Obviously, in the Sims 3, you cannot do no good. Um, I think I just said no good instead of no good. <laughs> English, English is a copycat language sometimes, I'm not going to lie. So, I do have a mod in my game where my sons can um, maintain, they can do um, no good. So, I will have that in the subscription below if you guys want to, like, you know, put these rocks into the gym because I think that would be a really nice addition. And um, if you want your sons to do that in this gym, um, so I will definitely do that in the future if I ever play in this world so that is indeed the gym and honestly it's the most beautiful gym like I love the design of the gym I think they did a fantastic job and then over here we do indeed have the salon and the tattoo place so this is where your sons can come and get the hair done get the nails done or they can get themselves like some tattoo and stuff like that so I love that they did this because like I see this like in most salons places where they have like lights around the rivers and stuff like that um so that is a really pretty place i'm not gonna lie and you also have your tanning station if you want to get fake tan or something like that and then obviously you do have your makeover cell stations i have no idea what they're actually called but you do have your makeover stations for your sons and your styles to get yourself like a makeover and stuff like that um for your sons and stuff so that's a really nice um thing in this little building and then obviously this is the tattoo place um you have your reception over here um honestly i really love that this place is like dark and then this place is light i just noticed that that's actually really nice i'm not gonna lie <laughs> that's a pretty nice addition um that's that's a pretty cool idea i don't know if that was on purpose or something but it's either cool so um this is indeed a reception and then obviously you do have your tattoo station over here and then you also do have the um sketch table for your sims to like do some fashion concepts or you can do like some designs and stuff like that and um, which is a really nice one for your sims to like just come into the building and you know practice some sketch and stuff like that for tattoos and then obviously you do have your um tattoo station for yourself so you can give yourself a tattoo um which i actually didn't know this was a thing in some i'm not gonna lie and then over here you do indeed have like your um small pecs over here so let's just pretend those are snakes or something like that <laughs> <laughs> and then obviously you have your car park over here so that's a really nice community lot i'm not gonna lie and then we also have the saloon over here um this is the saloon over here um ways and can like come out and have some drinks with your friends socialize have a good time play some video games um you know dance with your sons, get drunk, be a party animal, or you can have your bachelor parties here, or your um, 
bachelor parties and stuff like that. So um, this is definitely one of my favourite saloons in this world because it's really nice. This is how I exactly would expect a saloon to look like. So obviously you have your um, obviously you have your bars from the Sun Street late night, and we can make um different types of drinks, cocktails, and ciders and stuff like that. And then you have like some tables over here for your sims to like chill out, listen to the music, your arcade games, and then you have your pop-up bathrooms over here, and then obviously you do have like a chill out um, spot here where you want to watch your sims. Um, on the sims play like the violin, the piano, the guitar and stuff like that, which is really, really nice, I'm not going to lie. Um, like watch the show and stuff like that. Um, because you usually get like a lot of um, shows in the bars like in some places. Um, so that's really, really nice, I'm not going to lie. And then upstairs, I'm assuming this is like the entertainment room for your sims to like have some drinks, but also play games as well, like the pool table. Um, and you also have like your, um, I forgot what this is exactly called, but I know what this is. It's basically a way you can play football, but you have to like get the ball into the... So like, for example, your sim is over here and then you're playing over here. You have to get into the sim's, um, goal or something like that. Um, you have to like beat the sim to like win the game and stuff like that, basically. So, um, oh, that's why it's called football, football. Uh, it's basically football, so um, that's really nice. And you also can do some darts as well, which I absolutely love doing. There's like active again, this is a thing where you can actually do darts and stuff like that. Um, so that's a really nice thing that you can do in this place. And then obviously, you have like some tables out here and stuff like that. So um, that's really, really nice. I would definitely come here quite a lot. I'm not gonna lie, because it's like a great spot for your sims to like hang out with your friends or the family and socialize and stuff like that. And then this is indeed going to be the last community lot that I am going to move through. Um, basically this is indeed the obviously the town hall or city hall, whatever you want to call. Um, this is the city hall of the town where you sons can come and work in the government police station or the military and all that stuff. And then obviously you have your school over here for your, your teen sons and your children sons to come over here and you know, learn education and do some after school activities and then you also have the football porch in the back which is so cool I actually kind of wish this was like a community walk because you could actually like add um, you could actually add like um, football goals and stuff like that I don't know if that's possible because I don't know if this is like an actual community walk or something like that um, so I don't know if this is like an actual community walk but it would be amazing if you could do that and then obviously this these are basically stairs, but it's basically seats, so um, they'll just pretend there's like seats and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. And then obviously you have your car park in the back and stuff like that. And then this is um, indeed your community pill for your sons to hang out on leisure day during the summer holidays and, you know, chill out with your family and um, have a good time, you know, swimming, playing on the playground and stuff like that. And I actually really, really like that. This is meant to be like, um, this is kind of meant to be like a, um, this is basically meant to be like a baby's pool or something like that for your children where the water is not like so deep for your children to swim. Um, but this is like the actual swimming pool for your children to swim in. Um, so that's the playground and you have like some lunges and for your sims to like chill out and stuff like that. And then obviously you have your, um, waterfall as well which is so freaking pretty like that is gorgeous i'm not gonna lie and then obviously inside you have like your cafe slash restaurant for your sims to like have some booties after you know after your first one the swim pool or something like that and then obviously you have your public bathrooms and stuff like that i also like that they included the potty chair as well for your toddler sons to use the potty um because the amount of times i need that which is perfect um so this is like your um bathrooms and stuff like that and then obviously you have your table tennis um table and you can do some just pun table and stuff like that so this is a really gorgeous um swimming pool community walk 
like this is absolutely gorgeous i'm not gonna lie this is gorgeous they did a fantastic world um they did a fantastic job in this world like this is amazing and then obviously over here you do have your museum which i'm not really interested in the museums but this one actually kind of catch my eye because i was watching plum bob's 95 video where they included some activities in the museum which is really, really good for your sons so this is indeed the museum it shows you the history of the town um what happened in this town where did we come from um you know talking about the history of the animals in this world and stuff like that because you know this is a sun street pigs world <laughs> Um, by your office, you have your reception over here. You do indeed have your vending machines if you want to get a snack or a drink or something like that and walk around the museum and stuff like that. And obviously, you do indeed have your men's bathroom over here and then your women's toilets over here. And then obviously, you have like some sitting areas where your sons and stuff like that. And then you have like some decorations and decor and stuff like that for your sims to like have a look and stuff and then obviously you have like this massive statue out here as well which is like basically the history of the town and stuff like that um so that is indeed like the outside spot where you also can have like barbecue as well and then i did mention that there was um there was um some activities that your sims can actually do in this town and also that's really, really cool i'm not gonna lie that's actually kind of terrifying that that is really, really terrifying i'm not gonna lie but that's pretty cool actually i'm not gonna lie um and then you obviously have like some some of your stuff over here so and you do actually have like a little um like a little computer station i like to find this is like a research station or something like that where you can read the history of the item that is in the museum or you can read some books and stuff like that to find the history if you want to know more detail and stuff like that which is really nice and then over here you do indeed have your activity room i mean i think this room is meant to be like um it's meant to be like um it's your son's friend like old paintings from like centuries ago decks ago and stuff like that and i like to find that they come into this room and they like to restore those old paintings back to life you know like they had those paintings for a very long time and it's like time to bring them back to life and put them in the museum for your sons to like see and stuff like that which is actually pretty cool i'm not gonna lie i like how plum bob makes all our friends in this world really doing real stick. it's gorgeous it's amazing i love how they do everything in this world like i just love that detail i i just it just makes like the world is like an actual world it just feels more realistic you know um so i like this idea that they did in this um you know like this um research painting room whatever you call it i don't exactly know the name but it's something like that and then also you do have another activity room over here where you sons can actually like um you know like do some um do you know like some inventing um do some like sculpt like structure structure things and um, sculpt 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 Sculptures. sculptures i think that's how you see it um so i like to pretend that um you know like for example those statues over here is basically came from this room and they like restore those things and bring it back to life make sure make sure it's like nice and new and it's taken care of and stuff like that so you can actually come in here and do like some inventing skills some sculptboard skills and stuff like that which is really, really nice because it makes sense that it would be in the museum um you can do like history research and stuff like that so that is a fantastic job i love um, right here before i go ahead and wrap up this video i do want to go ahead and show you guys some of the essential lots that you can go ahead and move your sons into this town so basically we are indeed going to go and start over here i'm not going to look at every single essential lot because that would fill up the entire video <laughs> So basically, um, your sims can actually, like, indeed go and move into these starter homes. So this this house over here, it is indeed a starter home.
home which crosses um, 15,276 Samoyan. So this is considered as a structure home for your sons to move in when you create your sons and stuff like that. So as you can see, there is indeed a lot of space that your sons can have. And um, you can basically expand this house. You can add in like another room in this house if your sons are having a baby or something like that, etc. So you do indeed have your kitchen over here. You do have your garage and then obviously you have your bathroom over here. And then you do have your bedroom over here. And then you have like your little chow out section, which is the one room basically. So um, this is definitely a really good choice for your sons to move in if you want to have like lots of space and expand in the future and all that stuff. And I am also pretty sure that you do have a lot of space in the park garden as well. So you can go ahead and start like your own gardening or you can add more bedrooms and stuff like that, which is a really good addition for this house. So I would definitely move my son into this house. And it's honestly a really pretty house for a structure home. I will say that like this home is gorgeous. It's perfect. I'll take it. <laughs> and then obviously we do actually have another home over here and this one's a little bit more expensive on the site so I think this is another home that your sons can also move in as well and this one is more of like a family home as your sons have like a family and like for example it's a mum and dad with a child or it's like two mums or two dads or it's like a single mum with um you know a kid or something like that basically so it's indeed cost 30,600 and to some million so it is indeed a little bit more expensive compared to this house um it, du it is double the price so um like i said this is more of like a family home um i think it's I think it's because it includes the car as well, so that also causes more in this house. So as you can see, once you come into this house, you do indeed have your kitchen over here. You also have like your dining table with your chairs, and then you also have like your little um living room as well, which you your TV, your couches and stuff like that. Your sons can like just come out here and chill with the family and stuff like that. What's the TV? What's on the news? What's happening in the town and stuff like that. And then you also have your, your toys out here as well, which is perfect. And then you do have your actual bathroom, which has the, um, which has the, um, the hamper as well which your sons can do laundry as well so you could actually go ahead and delete the bath and put some laundry washing machine and the dryer or something like that or you also can do it this way you can have the washing machine but you also have like the clothesline outside or something like that like you could easily put it in the park garden and stuff like that so um that's a nice um addition that you can do in this house and then obviously you have like your bedroom over here you do indeed have the children's bedroom over here you can change this different colors however you want like it's for your boy son your girl son obviously someone is indeed living in this house um this house is gorgeous i would literally move into this house if i could that is gorgeous and as you can see we are indeed in the life mode right now this is indeed the house that i was loaded into so once you get the set file this is the household that you will get in the house basically so as you can see the house does look really big from outside but it's actually a one four house which is really nice i'm not gonna lie and this house is gorgeous like it has the red color skin um i mean so it's because the sun here really loves red so she went here and made the house red and it's gorgeous it has neutral red warm dark tones and stuff like that it's gorgeous i absolutely love it and um, so this is indeed the living room over here and then this is like your kitchen over here which you have lots of space for your kitchen um if your sons loves to cook and stuff like that and this kitchen is gorgeous i think this is like the most beautiful kitchen i've ever seen in my life <laughs> Um, I really like, I really like, really, really like black stoves and 
abacans and stuff like that. Like, that is gorgeous. Like, I would love to have a kitchen like that in real life, I will say that. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, this is like your main lobby of the house, which is like your dining table, your chow out section, and um, this is like your laundry room over here for your sims to do laundry. All of a sudden, you do indeed have your um, bedroom over here as well, and then all of a sudden, you have like your master bedroom. Um, as you can see, this is definitely a, like a real a nice house it's kind of very fancy for one sum um so obviously this is her bedroom over here and then this is like her master bathroom and then you have like your got to hallway and then this is like your back garden which is honestly gorgeous like this back garden is beautiful like my ruche makes this back garden look gorgeous i swear um as you can see this world is perfect for autumn vibes and stuff like that so all right so as you can see we are indeed more of in the rich neighborhood of abelos and plains so this is basically where i would say like the upper class family stays in this town and all that stuff um, so basically this was the house that caught my eye when I was filming the intro of this video. So as you can see this house is definitely like a really big house for your sims to have multiple generations. And that is perfect especially for my current household. I am actually thinking moving my family into this town um, because it's just perfect. So as you can see this house does cost over 200,000 some million. So this is definitely a very very expensive expensive house for your sons to move in so like i say this is definitely perfect for multiple generation families because i had a look inside the house and it was perfect like this house is perfect so as you can see once you come into the house you definitely can see there's all lot of things in this house for your sons to do so you have your massive kitchen in here right you have a massive kitchen which is perfect because my sims love to cook they can come in here and cook any time the day make massive christmas dinners um face parties and stuff like that which is really down nice so that is indeed the kitchen and then obviously you have your dining table room um your dining room i called it dining table i don't know why i said that um so this is indeed the dining room which is, you also have a high chair for your baby sons um to like eat the food and stuff like that and then over side and then you have your living room over here which is a massive space for your sons to like chill out and have christmas parties and stuff like that which is a really good um thing that they have in this house um i honestly would love to live in this house if you want to have like multiple generations and stuff like that and then obviously over here this is like a little office area but it's like a hallway as well because it also goes out to the back garden as well so that's like your um office slash study room if you want to like do some work and stuff like that and then you also do have your laundry room over here and then you also have the baby's room as well if your sons are having twins or something like that your sons can indeed have your babies in here which is really cute i'm not gonna lie i would love to i definitely wouldn't leave this room like if i moved into this house i definitely wouldn't leave the way it is because it's just perfect um so that's indeed the baby's room and then obviously you have like the bedroom over here for your sims to sleep in and then you also have the bathroom as well which i mean assuming it's a bathroom for all your sims to use because it's in the hallway um so this is the bathroom that your sons can use for the guesties and stuff like that um but i'm also i mean assuming this is like the guest toilet as well so um and then you also have your um master bedroom over here and um, which is the master and then you have your, your master um your master in um, bathroom so that is indeed the master bedroom and it's really, really pretty i'm not gonna lie so um let's go upstairs of this house so as you can see we also have another bedroom that is like facing right front of the house um which you can see the tower which is gorgeous um so that's another bedroom and then you also have like, a really, really big bathroom in this house so this is like probably the biggest bathroom in this house um I think this is more of the master bathroom, but I think this one's like the master bed and the master bathroom because it's like connected basically. Um, so that is indeed the bathroom and then that's your bedroom and then you also have like your entertainment centre of the house which your sons can like play video games, watch the TV, play the piano. 
um, play the fire and playing the guitar and stuff like that, etc. And then you also have another bedroom upstairs. Um, if you have multiple children but you want them to share the bedrooms, um, this is a great spot for your children to share the bedrooms and stuff like that. Um, so that is inside of the house, which is pretty, I'm not going to lie. And then this is also perfect because you have a garden in the back garden. Um, it just makes sense if you do garden in this town because this town has like that garden feel you know you have your pets and you also have like your garden um etc so that is indeed your garden station over here and then you have like your greenhouse and you also do have your um skull um skull sculpture sculpture i forgot how to say it um but you know what i mean so you also have that station and you have your clothesline you have like the little section for your sims to have barbecue or nice days and stuff like that you have your tree house you have your playgrounds and stuff like that which is really, really pretty i'm not gonna lie um so this is definitely like a multiple generation family house and then over here you do have like son of the never residential lot which is um owned by son of the pre-made families in the town um so this is the Perry household and you can see it's definitely a very fancy household um the sims living the best life and stuff. so as you can see we do indeed have the equation center which is basically when you can come over here and do some equation competitions with your horses your sims or you can come here and buy a horse and stuff like that so you can see we have some horse stalls over here for your horses to like chill out and relax and eat some food or get a drink and stuff like that and then across the street you do indeed have the training rooms which is a perfect place for your horses and your sims to practice for upcoming competitions so or you want to learn the equation skill and stuff like that so that's a really good thing for your sons. Um, so as you can see, this is like all the training grounds. Your sons can like run around the laps and stuff like that. And then inside of this community lot, you do indeed have your um, you do indeed have your horse stalls and stuff like that. If you want to put your horses in the stalls, um, so they can relax and stuff like that. Um, it's like outside that I showed in the equation um centre. And then upstairs, you do indeed have like your chill out station and um, we can play the football or you can just watch the tv socialize with the pinsons and stuff like that so um that's really very exciting so that is indeed the training grounds and then over here you definitely can see we do have some of the fancy homes as well um this house is absolutely gorgeous i'm not gonna lie so this is definitely a house a family that has horses as well um they have like training grounds as well they also have like a little um playground for the horses to like chill out and stuff like that as you can see they do have horses over here so that is pretty i actually would like to have a look in this house so maybe we will have a look in one of the pre-made families houses um so as you can see this house is ginormous um I would definitely steal this house if I could. <laughs> so as you see, this is obviously the living room over here. You have like your massive kitchen area. And then you also have a massive dining table, which is two tables combined. I do that sometimes. Um, so this is definitely perfect for multiple generation families with lots of horses and stuff like that. It's like them never house but with no horses um so you can see this is definitely a massive house and then you have like your um this is like a little um entertainment center room for your sons to practice music and stuff like that and then this is obviously like the bedrooms upstairs with your master bathrooms and all that jazz um so you can see there's like lots of bedrooms in this house for your sons if you want to have multiple generations or you just like have a lot of sons in your family like multiple children and stuff like that um so this is definitely a perfect opportunity and you also have like the little barn which has your horse stalls and stuff like that and you also can come out here and chill while your horses are like relaxing you can like look after them while you're chilling and stuff like that so that is indeed the barn which and then you have 
have here um, festival greens over here actually and then this one is also a structure home so this one causes around 16,496 so that's a perfect structure home um, it is quite similar to another structure home that I showed you guys um, like I said it has a lot of space in this house you can easily expand this house into different bedrooms or you can start your lazy challenge in this house um, you can eventually expand the house you can add like lots of things like the training grounds for your horses and stuff like that um so that is definitely like a perfect opportunity to start like a lazy or let me say whatever you do um so that is indeed a perfect um opportunity for your start to sons and stuff like that and then you can see we do have the beach over here so this is indeed the beach um i really love that they did the roofs um these are basically like pretending um but these are really pretty i'm not gonna lie and then obviously you have like your lunges over here and then you have your um water balloon fight and stuff like that and then obviously you have the ocean and stuff like that which is really pretty um and then you also have the playgrounds as well for your sons to like hang out and stuff like that um so that's a really, really pretty beach and pan they also have another stator home over here which is like a really cute um spot for your um sim to like lift in um let me open this so this house costs around fourteen thousand. so that is definitely the cheaper site compared to the number structure homes um in this town um i definitely would move into this one because it's um it feels more homely and you also have the washing machine as well um you do have a washing machine over here as well um so that's perfect and um you can easily expand this house into like a two bedroom house and all that stuff so that is perfect <laughs> anyway so that is that is it going to be for this video on the world review of abolism points so i hope you guys enjoy this video i will make sure to have all the links in the subscription below of Plumbobs95 Nietzsche channel and the link to the Tumblr page as well because I'm pretty sure that the world is available to download now because I did have early access to this world but by the time this video goes out it will be available for everybody to download um so as why well I say Plumbob 95 you have done a fantastic job in this world and I am very excited to see what you will do in the future with another world because because I know that you want to do a different world after this, but I'm very excited. So anyway, so guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and like this video, comment below, and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more Sims 3 World overview videos like this, or you just want to see more Sims 3 videos. Anyways, I will see you guys next time.